I'm in Switzerland in Verbier Ski Resort having a wonderful time. I've been asked to give a lecture on happiness to a client and even though I myself am not a skier I see all the skiers getting up early in the morning to have a wonderful day on the slopes and what it makes me think is about the research comparing the happiness we derive from experiences versus the happiness we derive from things. So what the research clearly shows is that if we have discretionary income, meaning uh, more money than we need for providing for basic needs, we'd be better off in terms of the ultimate currency, the currency of happiness, we'd be better off spending that money on buying experiences. And that's counterintuitive for many people because you know we think, okay, an experience uh, comes and goes, uh, whereas if we buy something that we like, that, that can stay with us for years. Uh, but in fact, there is a much greater gain to our long-term happiness as well as, of course, short-term happiness when we spend our money on buying experiences. Now, experiences don't need to be a lavish ski vacation. It can be little things like a small family vacation or going out with friends for a, a nice meal or um, going to a concert or just going for a walk and hike. It doesn't even have to cost any money. Uh, so, so remember that... Uh, a happy life is a life that comprises of ha happy experiences, much more about beautiful experiences than about beautiful things.